Yes, yes. Just this time last year, I was checking out Rooneyverse for the first time. Now, checking out the Infernals solo mode. Let's get it. Shout out Andrew Runiverse, one of the most popular HTCGs. Seems like everybody in the community has covered it pretty much. That's the business. Silent Seven Games, right. Already have the Sphine and Sav decks, so let's see how it works with the solo mode. All right, Runiverse Infernal solo mode. Learn more at Silent7.com. Art by Aesthetics and Iron Thunder. Okay, so Dracarash flowed slowly upward, pushing her molten form through the cool ground, melting and searing the soil as she created a column through which her infernal allies could follow. She could feel the earth soften and knew the surface would come quickly. Indeed, the pressure of her form was released into the air and the lava was her essence erupted violently, spiraling and spilling. The melted soil quickly cooled cooled into a mound and as her scattered lava congealed into a humanoid form and her eyes reformed she smiled proudly at the mightiest volcano she manifested upon the serene landscape of tall grass she now found herself on all right last paragraph pillars of flame erupted from the volcanoes behind dracarash spinning into the shapes of her infernal forces follow that fun she said to them Burn its village. It's time to bring the light of the infernals to this world. Right? And the rules. Feel free to read all that. You know. Our infernals rules. Runiverse. Infernals introduces a new way to play Runiverse TCG. Solitaire. The infernals follow most of the same rules as a normal opponent so you can use any deck to battle against them these rules describe how to set up the infernals opponent how the infernals make their decisions and play their cards and a couple extra features to make their deck work this set includes 12 infernal mages and two copies each of 19 different infernals cards all with the black infernal card back There are four randomized infernal uh, variants of ruby cards from the core set. These are alternate versions of normal cards that can be used in your decks. They're not to be used by the solo mode. Uh, set up. To set up the infernals deck, randomly choose 10 different non mage infernals cards and take one of each and shuffle them to form the infernal dream deck. Take two copies of the other nine non mage. Save this for when I really play. Infernal turn. The infernal turn rules. The same rules as players as much as possible. So they'll start each of their first three turns by opening a rift, and they'll draw a card at the start of each of their turns. At the end of their turns, each infernal mage with one or more bonds guards. Action priorities, attack targeting. All right, we'll make sense of this and. But right now we'll flip through the cards and get a game very soon. New card back versus the old card back. All right, uh, four drop uh, infernal lava worm. Act Flamio Stasis once per turn. If the Infernals have at least four flame counters, I get two level plus one counters. If the Infernals have at least eight flame counters, I attack for eight. They cool while sleeping, resembling a volcano with teeth. Eight flame counters, I attack for eight. 
okay infernal spin fire spill infernal blast level zero the infernals get a flame counter i attack for three gifts bond gift rakes imp two drop aggressive three while attacking ideal damage is though i'm level plus three ongoing deft i deal my damage first while attacking and i receive none if the defender is dispelled kettle break scavenge fire after an attack from one of my mages other cards dispels an enemy creature untask me i get an l plus one counter in the in the infernals get two flame counters kittle aggressive four while attacking ideal damage is though i'm level plus four Burning Stare. If any enemy creatures are guarding, all enemy mages creatures stop guarding this turn. And check out my Runiverse gameplay. I know I have at least one, maybe two, up on the channel. Exactly like a year ago. Um, Cinder Wisp, zero drop. Strength, I get level plus one ongoing. And then when I join the Infernals, I get three flame counters. Egg of Distinguished Mediocrity. If my mage would guard, I guard instead. Rift burn, attach rift burn to the enemy rift with most creatures. If the mage is already engaged with the location, attach rift burn to that location's rift. The rift gains this ability. Trigger flare up at the start of your mage's phase. Rift burn attacks with one of that mage's creatures for four. Egg of endless magma, flaming motivation. If an if an ally is tasked, task me to untask my highest level ally and give it um, aggressive two this turn. Infernal spin fire. The infernals get a flame counter one. Uh, no, no. Um, I attack for three. Okay, Kittle. Now we're running into doubles. Infernal blazing. Just like Blaziken, the Pokemon. The infernals get a flame counter. I attack for three. Dispel gift. Send a wisp, heat, heat attacks for three, infernal volcanic, infernal knowledge, level zero, the infernals draw two cards, ruby gift. Yeah, like in this game, there's a gift deck, which is a side deck, and you get to, it's like you get to break and get stuff from there. Cool game, I just need to play some more. Empire Hassling, Inspire, Infernal Rim, Infernal Blazing, Endless Magma. Aggressive Urge. If this mage has any creatures attached, Aggressive Urge to as Vim to the lowest level one. Vim, I think, is like leveling up stuff, something like that. And then ongoing uh, aggressive three. While attacking, I deal damage as though I'm a level plus three. Lava Worm. Okay, Burning Dragon. I'm Assault. After I attack a creature and survive when task me. And I get level plus one this turn. Six drop. Rex Imp. Infernal Magmite. Infernal Rim. Kind of like Nine Tails. Kittle again. Rift Burn. Um, immolate. The Infernals get two flame counters. And Immolate attacks for three plus the number of flame counters the Infernals have. Aggressive Verge. Endless Magma. Magmite, Volcanic, Magmite, Lurching Raptor, Drive when I join, untask me, ongoing aggressive 2 while I'm attacking, ideal damage is though on level 2, plus 2, Rake Simp, Flame X, after my mage is attacked by a creature, Flame X attacks that creature for 3, Volcanic, Heat, Infernal Spin Fire, the Immolate again, Burning Dragon again, Pyre Hashling, Flame touch boar, last four when I'm evoked, I attack for four. Boom stick, act boom, task me and pay six to have me attack for eight. Lurching raptor, flame X, boar, and mediocrity, I guard instead. All right, uh, yeah, let me give this another look and then hopefully play this joint real soon. Man, it's hard to make that time to play stuff nowadays, but I need to do it, though. So, yeah, be on the lookout for that Runiverse Infernals solo mode gameplay. Naturally, this will probably be the next video I post, but 
Oh yo games, like, comment, subscribe. Same bad time, same bad channel.